We all rely on a battery to start our cars. The battery generates enough torque to turn or crank the engine, and when recharging correctly has a life expectancy of four years. Batteries fail when they are unable to recharge and generate enough power to turn an engine. In the UK this happens mostly in cold weather, when the engine's oil is less viscous and lower temperatures. The lead plates and car batteries are subjected to chemical reactions that naturally cause a buildup of residue. This process, known as sulfation, interferes with the ability of the battery to accept, hold and deliver a charge. If a battery is rendered unfit for use, it needs to be removed and recycled. Because of the high scrap value of a lead acid battery, it is one of the UK's most successful waste streams. Once at the hub, the batteries are removed from the boxes and carefully stacked onto wooden pallets, each layer separated by cardboard dividers. The pallets are then shrink-wrapped and prepared for export. Once at the reprocessor, the batteries are split to release the acid content. The batteries are then passed through a shredder. The plastic is first removed and then the remaining metals are pressed to create a paste. The paste is first smelted in the furnace. This creates large lead ingots. These are then processed again in kettles where they are blended with alloys to create the high specification lead ingots that are used in the manufacture of new car batteries. New batteries are then bought by consumers or car manufacturers and the whole cycle starts again.